In this video, I'm going to show you what pros are doing to take the Nickel 3-3 Loop Blitz Glitch Blitz to the entire next level. If you guys want to get my version of the 3-3 defense, it's at the Patreon. Ten bucks gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to become a Patreon member, the link is down in the description. Guys, uh, this is this is insane. Um, this is what people are doing right now to make the Loop Blitz better um, they're putting basically a fast defensive tackle on the field that they can use her so uh, in our example here let's see if I can find I got Javon curse you can put whoever you want there um, you know but basically you just want somebody fast and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come out you're going to set up your loop blitz like normal so the way you set it up is you're gonna spread your line crash your line down globally blitz all your linebackers QB contain and then you're gonna walk these guys outside like so now the trick to making this absolutely insane is when you run down with this user, you're going to put him in whatever you want. So, for example, we could put uh, an outside third over there and then man this guy up on the running back like this. And then we're actually going to use this D lineman. And we're going to move him over to the gap opposite of the running back. And what you're going to see is this loop is going to be basically unblockable. And the other thing is in this year's game, you can lurk on defense alignment super well. Like, they actually catch stuff when you lurk on them. I mean, look at this. This is insane pressure uh, at the quarterback. Now, you can also pair this uh, with some other best practices for running a man coverage scheme. I would recommend doing this out of man coverage uh, if you're going to do this, which means you want to back off your outside corners when you do this and i like to put a mid read on the field or and shade outside basically and then we're going to play this like cover one robber um so what you'll see here is they can't really id if they try to id the corner they can't really do that so they got to id the slot corner and with you standing over in this area i don't know how the blitz got picked up but it did sometimes if you sit at the pre-snap menu uh for too long it can kind of mess with it uh another thing you can do with this is basically change change which side you go to. So like you could come over here as well. And the reason you'd want to do that is it just changes how they're going to pick up the blitz. As you see right there, changes how they, the blitz pick up and you see the pressure comes in even against a blocked running back. Now, what I think is really interesting is you could even do something like this where we're going to go ahead and drop, maybe we want to drop this guy into, uh, into zone over here. And then we're going to, you know, maybe do something, do something like this kind of like, you know, just kind of messing around a little bit. But now we're over here with our user, right? So we run the loop blitz. This is only the four-man version. And sometimes this still comes in even against a blocked running back. So you don't have to just send the five-man um, pressure, which I actually, you know, obviously the five-man pressure is really good. You just you don't just have to send that, though. And I just wanted to kind of point that out. Now, when you set this up, what I like to do, if you want to stay on this user, Go ahead and put him in a zone, and you want to stand over in this A-gap uh, right here, basically, and you're going to slow walk down like that right there, and you get this crazy – see how I got that crazy little A-gap pressure? So it just takes the blitz to the next level, and it's something subtle that you can do that will, I think, just make it harder to pick up the blitz. When you walk this guy down, if you put him here – and then man him up on the running back, and then you can take this guy and put him in his own. What this can do for you is now that linebacker will kind of dumb the running back out on a block, and you see just how fast the blitz comes in. So there's so many little little tricks and little tactics that can make this blitz better. Um, this just continues to stand the test of time that this is the, I think, just most overwhelming blitz in the game. Uh, and it's been like that since day one. This has been the best blitz in the game since day one, and it's really not that much different. It's just a little different setup. Instead of pinching your linebackers, all you have to do is manually walk them down on the sides and if you're really smart, you'll man this guy up on the running back, which takes him completely away. And then over here, we could do something like this. This is just incredible bunch defense. And you just see, I mean, how fast the pressure comes in. Super, super good defense, especially for bunch and especially if you run man-to-man. -man. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my version of how to actually run the entire defensive scheme, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member and to get you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.